equipment that looks like a can. It is called a transformer. It takes the electricity from the wires at the top of the pole and steps it down to the lower level needed for a home or a business. Remember, wires can either be on a pole or buried underground. If the primary wires are underground, then the transformer is the green box often found in front, side, or backyards. So, if you have overhead lines, you will have a pole and transformer. If you have underground lines, you will have a green box on the ground. Now let's get back to the pole. Under the transformer is another copper wire called the neutral wire. This does not mean it is safe to touch. The neutral wire is a return line that goes back to the substation and helps to balance the amount of electricity out on the system. Without a neutral wire, our appliances could get too much or too little electricity, which can cause damage. In recent years, the rise in copper prices has made it a precious metal, and as a result, copper neutral wires like this have become a target for thieves. Copper theft is a huge risk to the thieves because they can be killed by coming in contact with a neutral wire. However, it's also a big risk to the public. Many times, thieves will cut the wire and leave loose ends hanging where people and animals can come in contact with them. Below the neutral wire is the secondary wire. After the electricity passes through the pole-mounted or underground transformer, it is carried in the secondary wire at the lower level of 120 or 240 volts. Under the secondary wire are the phone and cable wires. They are generally the lowest wires on the pole. Phone and cable wires are not safe to touch because they could become energized. For example, if a power line...